I'm going to be sharing with you a little trick that I've learned with um, threading a needle for embroidery. So one thing I wanted to point out was that when you are using an embroidery pattern, sometimes the pattern will say to use six strands of floss or it will say to use three strands or four. Um, so what that means is one strand, this is a strand of floss that came from this, one strand comes with six little strands. All um, they, they all come together in one strand and you can peel these strands apart and um, so if they only ask for two strands then you can pull it apart and you only have the two strands or if they ask for four you can use the four and take the other two off and um, that's just so that like if you're using a pattern and you want the line to be really thin then you would only want to use two strands if you want it to be really thick then you could use all six so let's say for instance the pattern wants you to use all six strands you'd have to thread your needle with all six of the strands and that can be kind of tricky to get that thickness of thread through the needle but it is possible um, and then you would just go through your fabric however this can be really tricky because sometimes if this is too thick or if your fabric um, is really close knit together and it's too hard to pull the needle through the fabric you're essentially pulling 12 strands of thread through because you've got the six plus the other six because it's doubled back and you have to be able to pull all that through another problem I've had with this way of threading my needle is it can actually come unthreaded a lot and then you find yourself always having to re-thread your needle and that can be super frustrating so I'm going to sh share with you a little trick that I've learned um, an easier way for you to thread your needle. So what I do is if the pattern asks for six strands of floss, I actually split my thread in half. So I take three of the strands and I pull them apart. So now I have just three of the strands. So I've got um, this half of the thread and then I have my other thread over here that I don't need to use right now I can use that later so now I only have three strands and this will be a lot easier to thread my needle first of all so that's one bonus to this method and then so the pattern if it's asking for six strands what I like to do is I like to fold it in half. So now I used, I threaded with three, but I'm folding it in half. So I brought the other end of my thread right here. So now I have six strands, but the two ends are over here. And this needle is not going to come unthreaded because it's being held down over here. So then I can tie this knot. And now. I still have my six strands like the pattern had asked for, but when I pull my needle through, it's not going to come unthreaded because the end of it's all the way down here. And now I can um, sew and not have to worry about that tail coming unthreaded. Also, now I'm only pulling six strands of thread through the fabric. I'm not pulling all 12 through, making it kind of hard to get the needle through the fabric. So you can use this method with any even pair of numbers of threads. So if you need six, you can take three and fold them in half. If you need four strands, you can take two strands and fold them in half. Or if um, you need just two strands, you can use one strand and fold it in half. And um, if you do need the odd number of strands, then you'll have to do the other method. But for the most part, you should be able to get by by doing this method and it will make it so that um, your needle does not come unthreaded.